Mr. Ramaswamy, if you were currently president, how would you handle a phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel? With I'm Jonathan Lovegrove, and today's video is a little different. I'm here on the campaign trail to hear Vivek Ramaswamy speak within those doors. Let's head inside. So this event was held at Wofford College, which is logical since Vivek is hoping to reach young voters. Since I was producing this video, I decided to attend as press. If you've never been to one of these events, the press always sit in the back. Now, Vivek arrived to the venue, but then this event was a little different. Vivek officially added his name to the ballot in the South Carolina primary in a signing ceremony. Check this out. All right, here we go. Now, the main event included an opening statement, questions from a moderator, and then questions from the crowd. I'll show you a quick highlight right here. But what we do need is all of us, not just me, all of us starting to speak openly again, say in public what you will otherwise say in private. And once we do that, I am confident that our best days as a nation will still yet be ahead of us. So the main event just ended, and now I'm heading over to the press gaggle so I can ask Vivek a question. So cut to that. Mr. Ramaswamy, if you were currently president, how would you handle a phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel? With candor, with honesty, and with support. I think the number one question we need to get to the bottom of is the abysmal failure of U.S. and Israeli intelligence in failing to anticipate or react to what happened and the abysmal failure of the defense on the ground in Israel, we need to get to the bottom of what actually happened. A lot of people say that's a question for later. No, I think that's a question for right now because the decisions that are going to be made over the next few days, over the next few weeks, are going to have critical implications and they can't be based on anything other than full information as to how the first failure actually happened. I don't want to see failures like that again in the future. And so getting to the bottom of that Getting to truth, that's not a partisan question. That's a question on getting to the bottom factual basis of what actually happened. That's the critical question that, frankly, I'm a little surprised. Nobody in either party is asking. They're saying that's a question for later. I reject that. That's a question for now. And that'd be my conversation with Bibi if I were on the phone with him. I'm all good. We're good. Okay. Good. good. Thank you, guys. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So that right there was a Vivek Ramaswamy event. If you're interested in seeing more, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.